markup, markup rate, and selling price. Hello students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to solve percent problems involving market price, market rate, and selling price. Let's begin. Let's have our first example. In a clothing store, the owner adds up a markup of 20% on blouses. Now, how much is the market price if a blouse originally cost 70 pesos? But wait! What is markup? Markup price is the amount added to the original price for profit, while the percent of markup is the markup rate. Now let's try to solve our problem. Here we are looking for the markup price. To solve for the markup price, we just simply need to multiply the original price and the markup rate. The original price of the blouse is 70 pesos, while the markup rate here is 15%. Before we can multiply this, we need to change the percent into decimal. Again, to change percent into decimal, first change the percent sign into decimal point, and then move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. There you go. Now let us multiply. 70 times 0.15. Now our answer is 1050. But since there are two decimal places here, we also need to move the decimal point of the product two times to the left. One, two. There you go. Now our final answer is 10.50. Now this time, with the same problem, we need to look for the selling price. In a clothing store, the owner adds up a markup of 15% on blouses. If a blouse originally cost 70 pesos, how much is the selling price? Selling price is the amount or the price after the markup price has been added to the original price. Now to solve for the selling price, we just simply need to add the original price and the markup price. Here, the original price of the blouse is 70 pesos plus the market price which we already sold earlier which is 10.50 now our answer is 80.50 wonderful now for our final example a pair of shoes which originally cost 400 pesos was sold for 500 pesos now, what is the markup rate? The markup rate is the percent of markup. Now, to solve for this one, we need to divide the markup price by the original price. Since here, the markup price is not given, but the original and the new amount or price are given, we just simply need to subtract the new price from the original price to get the markup price. The new price here is 500 pesos, while the original price is 400 pesos. That gives us 500 minus 400 over or divided by the original price which is 400. 500 minus 400 is 100 divided by 400. Since 100 is smaller than 400, we need to add 0. 0.0. There you go. Now 1000 divided by 400. 
let's put first the decimal point above. There. 1,000 divided by 400 is 2. 2 times 400 is 800. 1,000 minus 800 is 200. Since 200 is smaller than 400, let's again add 0. There. 2,000 divided by 400 is 5. 5 times 400 is 2,000. And when we subtract this, this gives us 0. Now our answer is 0.25. But since we are looking for the rate, we need to change this into percent. That's right. To change decimal into percent, we need to move the decimal point two times to the right. One, two. And finally, change the decimal point into percent sign. Our final answer is the percent markup is 25%. Wonderful. Great job students. Now here are the things that you learned today.